Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn and Virgo connection reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. So this could be Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. It could be somebody with those qualities. It could be a friendship. It could be a family member or it could be a partnership. It could be somebody at work. All right, so let's grab a Romance Angel card, see what's going on in between the two of you. We have Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. All right, somebody's not being true to their feelings in this relationship. Let's get a Whispers of Love. Whispers of Love for Capricorn and Virgo. Whispers of Love for Capricorn and Virgo. I had one, but then there we go. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Okay. Having faith. Let's get a heart-shaped romance card for Capricorn and Virgo. Okay, so we kind of had these two that came out, so we'll take those two. That one's kind of cool. I like that one. We have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Ooh, that's very important. So that could be with going on with that deception. And then we have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Somebody's very unhappy. Either one or both of you are very unhappy. Somebody's or both are trying to say that you're fine and that everything's okay and that nothing's bother you, but I feel like inside something's really bothering you. And I feel like you're because you're unhappy with yourself or like what's going on with you I feel like you're lashing out to the other person because we have that criticizing one another will only lead to unhappiness and then I feel like if one person's unhappy then the other person is reacting to that right because you're lashing out because you always lash out to the people that you're closest to so you're lashing out to that person and putting that person on the defense and then they're lashing back to you so it's like this vicious cycle that the two of you are, have created here. All right, what's going on with Virgo? Virgo, 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 Virgo. What's going on with Virgo? I feel like the cards want to come out, but... Look at that. You got your own card, the Hermit. I feel like Virgo's in Hermit mode and is shutting down. Ooh, and then Virgo has the Tower. Ready for a shake-up, ready for a breakup. Mm. It just started raining out. Page of Pentacles. World. Knight of Cups. Oh, okay. All right. Virgo's ready to work on it. Capricorn. Moon. Deception. Perfect. Capricorn, are you wearing a false self mask? Are you speaking up about the way that you truly feel? All right, you heard about something. Three of Swords. You're feeling like things are not in your favor, like things are unbalanced. Stepping up to the plate. Five of Swords. Don't let what other people have to say bother you. Six of Cups. And High Priestess, listening to your intuition. What is it telling you? What is it telling you? I feel like it's telling you a lot. All right. So for Virgo, Virgo is empowering themselves. I feel like Virgo is kind of in hermit mode. I feel like Virgo wants change. Virgo doesn't want to be in this energy anymore that they want change. They may possibly be thinking about a breakup or walking away or restructuring this relationship because they don't want to deal with this energy anymore. I feel that it's kind of like this frustration and then with this tower, but then all of a sudden when we hit the tower, everything changes, right? Like I feel like Virgo wants to rebuild the situation. Virgo wants to rebuild the relationship because 
we have the world, we have the Knight of Cups, and we have the the Three of Pentacles, like working on it, reaching out. The Knight of Cups is usually there's a knight that's handing their cup to the other person. I feel like Virgo wants to work this out, however way that is best for both of you. But I feel like Virgo doesn't want to be in this energy anymore. They're like, okay, I've had enough of this. Capricorn definitely has some deception. They're not clear. They're hurt. You have the three of you have the three of swords. Um, you feel that things are unfair, but I f also feel like Capricorn has to step up to the plate and figure out what's going to make you happy. I feel like this has been a relationship that's been long term, and I feel like Cap Capricorn needs to. listen to their intuition and what is that gut feeling that you have okay taking a closer look at what is this really what does this three of swords really represent okay if you're hurt if you're in this three of swords energy what is that and have you communicated that because we have six of pentacles is also sharing have you communicated the truth on this three of swords to Virgo or have you been frustrated with it and keeping it to yourself and then reacting to it towards Virgo <coughs> excuse me seven of cups you have a lot on your mind Capricorn you have a lot swirling in your head and I feel like you're kind of shutting down and I feel like you're going into protection mode. Again, we have the high priestess. I feel like Capricorn, you're shutting down and you're going into protection mode and you're wearing a false mask over here. I kind of feel like you both are, but I feel like Capricorn is more. I love it, Knight of Cups. You both have Knight of Cups. I love it. Because that's what I said. It's usually it's like a knight that's reaching out. I feel that Capricorn needs to figure out, take a closer look at what is this Three of Swords, what is bothering you, seeing how you're shutting yourself down, seeing the energy that you're putting towards Virgo. Right? Are you being snappy? Are you being short? Are you criticizing? Are you being angry about every little thing that Virgo does? But it has to do with this three of swords within you. And has Virgo tried to ask you to communicate? Has Virgo tried to work this out, but yet you're like, no, I'm fine, or I don't want to talk about it. If you don't want to talk about it, why don't you want to talk about it? Right? What is it? You have a lot swirling on your head, in your head. What, what are all those thoughts that you have? What are those things that you're worried about? What is it that you're stressed about? What is it? Why do you not want to communicate this three of swords to Virgo? Do you need to write this all down for yourself? I find that for me, I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising that I, when I really get in my head like that, the best thing for me to do is just write it down on a piece of paper and get it out and then reread it and then sort through it and then have that conversation with that person by reading what it is that I wrote. Because that way I get everything out. But I need time to sort through my feelings and what I want to do and where I want to go with that, right? And maybe that's what you need to do, Capricorn, is to figure that out first. There's definitely a lot going on with you here. We have have faith, trust your faith in this situation. That if you want to get past this, you have to believe that, okay, I will get past this and I will take this mask off. And tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful and that you can move past the situation. That you don't want to keep yourself in this energy if you're not happy, if you're not, fe excuse me, feeling good, if you're not where you want to be. That it's up to you to make the changes, right? It's up to you. Do you want to keep yourself in this energy? It's up to you. Do you want to make some changes? What are you feeling inside? You have the two high priestess, right? That strong energy that's surrounding you with this, that's telling you, what is your inner voice telling you? What is it saying? Is it saying, speak up, speak up? All right, Wisdom Oracle for this reading for Capricorn and Virgo. 
Tick tock. Time is going by. Definitely. Tick tock. Don't let any more time go by. Being in this Three of Swords energy, being in this Moon energy, being this overwhelmed, overthinking energy, being in this shutdown energy, right? Being in this Tower energy. Don't let any more time go by. We don't know how much time we have on this Earth. And do we want to spend all of this time in this sort of energy or do we want to spend our time in this beautiful having faith energy and that the situation is going to get better in this butterfly transformation energy and to change situations that we're not happy in. Serendipity, that happiness, right? That freedom, that flight, um, that serendipity, like I can't <laughs> explain it. This, that lightness, that happiness, that enjoying the day, that feeling happy again and feeling motivated again. Like that energy is surrounding this reading that's saying, yeah, let's get back to our happy place. Let's get back to our happy place and let's pull one more loyal heart. Loyal heart. I feel that there is a connection between the two of you, no doubt. I feel that it's kind of gone awry. I feel that with the two, you each having the Nine of Cups, that you want to reach out, you want to communicate, you want to work this out, you want to take off that false masks, but you have to figure out how you feel first and you have to get to the root of the problem first for each of you because Virgo's got the Tower and the Hermit and the Shutdown and then Capricorn's got the Three of Swords and the Four of Pentacles shut down. You're both shutting down. That if you want change within this, you both have to make the effort to change it within yourselves. And it's up to you. And if you work on it yourself and you reach out to the other person and if they don't respond, that gives you an answer. If they do respond, that opens up the door for communication. And that's how you have to do it. I just feel like the TikTok is don't spend any more time in this energy, right? It's time to move on. It's time to get past this. I feel like you've been in this for a while. And I feel like that's why you have the two high priestesses. Like it, it's saying, okay, it's time to do something about this. It's time for change. But that's up to you. You can only control how you feel and what you do or what you don't do. You can't control the other person. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.